Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really well. Um, today I just want to mention um, a few products that I have been absolutely loving while we've been stuck at home. Do you know what? These products really did help me um, during the time that I was at home. So I thought I would share it with you guys and yeah, let's get The next thing that I want to mention is also a face thing. Um, this I don't have the actual product, but I got this in um, in one of my online orders uh, as a sample, and I fell in love with it. And I will absolutely buy the bigger the the bigger the actual product of it. So I don't have the bottle with me at the moment. Um, <clears throat> um, and it's this. From Huda Beauty and this is the tester I've had four of these this is my last one so once I use this one up I will definitely go and buy the new um, the actual I think it comes in the tube so this is the yo glow enzyme scrub um, wishful is it called wishful is it is it the wishful yo glow enzyme scrub yeah maybe um, from Huda Beauty so so glad that I use this because this is magic in a tube like honestly so you put a tiny tiny amount on your face literally a pea-sized amount um, so you wet your face and you scrub this Um, the next thing I want to mention is also um, a face a face product um, and it's actually quite similar to the one that I just mentioned uh, Glycolic Fix Liquid Glow Extreme 6% so this um, is basically if you have used um, the Pixi Glow Tonic then this is like a I think a slightly more advanced version of that so that one's actually not um, so the Pixi Glow Tonic is not very abrasive and it's not very strong. This one, however, is. So again, how I use this like absolutely like a normal toner. Um, I use this around my nose and in my chin area because that's where I find that my pores are very clogged. Um, and that's where I get usually the most oily as well. So this is... An amazing amazing thing um, it helps with the texture of your skin uh, also it's very very cheap like nip, nip and fab isn't expensive either I got this from Amazon and the reviews were amazing and I completely agree with this uh, next thing that I want to mention is actually uh, one that I have been looking to buy and get for a very long time um, but I don't know why I just didn't get <laughs> I just <laughs> just didn't get a chance to um, and it's my Samsung um, pods I was about to call them airpods they're not airpods 
Um, they are the Samsung C Buds Plus. So these are the new ones. Um, so they come in this small, this is obviously the charger as well. And this is what they look like. They are so cute and they are the most comfortable thing I've ever seen. Um, so you can see, so the cover over here, um, it has like a, it has it like a, rainbow colored thing anyway it comes in three colors they've got a blue one a black one and i think they've got a pink one i'm not sure but i got the white ones um they are fabulous like they are absolutely amazing the fact that i just put them in my ear and they're so comfortable now i will tell you this much my ears are so weird i can't use all the headphones that they that are out in the market because they either fall out or they're too small or they're too big um but these fit absolutely wonderfully. Um, I use this for phone calls. I use this for like Zoom calls if you're doing them these days, which I think everyone is these days. Um, and the sound quality of them are absolutely beautiful. Uh, once you once you get them, so I've obviously got a Samsung phone, and the minute I switch them on, um, and I switched on the Bluetooth on my phone, it immediately like picked it up. I installed everything within seconds. I was like, oh my God, what's happening? <laughs> it was like, it's like, the, you know, like Romeo and Juliet meeting finally. Um, and it just installed everything on its own. So it does come with an app. You can change all the settings on the app. It's really straightforward, really good to use. They are really small. They literally just go high in the ear. And sometimes, like if I've got my hair open and I put these in my ears, people think I'm mad because they think I'm talking to myself because they can't see my headphones. It's actually quite funny, but... Um, yeah, they literally sit on my dressing table, not my dressing, on my um, bedside table. But, um, and the next thing is also a gadget, um, which I, which reminded me of my childhood. So uh, it is my Nintendo Switch. Now this is the Switch Lite. Uh, it's not the one that you can change the the handles, like the, the controllers with, with. But to be honest, this is much sleeker. It's thinner, uh, and I really really like this light. I think And the last thing is, you know what, why don't you guess? I know you've guessed it. And the last thing is, um, any guesses? <laughs> it's a perfume, of course, of course. Now, obviously we weren't really going out, so I wasn't wearing a lot of perfume, but I do have, I do think that if you own perfumes and you like perfumes, 
even if you're not going out, you should still wear a bit of perfume in the house. That is just nice to smell. Like. What's the point of having all these perfumes if you're not going to wear them out? Like, if you're not going to wear them and not going to smell nice. Um, anyway, so this is the Angel Muggler. Is it Muggler or Moogler? I'm not sure. Um, perfume. And this is the Eau de Toilette. Uh, this is a newer one. So the Eau de Parfum is the bottle. It's exactly the same bottle, but it's like a darker blue. This is a very light blue. I don't know how to explain this. Um, it's a cross between, um, it's musky but it's floral. So I don't like very floral um, fragrances anyway. Um, and this is a light, this is a nice in between. So obviously now we've come down from spring to summer and this is just perfect for it. Um, this is the, I think this is the 50 ml, isn't it? Yeah, this is the 50 ml. It comes in 30, 50 and 100 I think. Oh, and also, before we go, um, a few programs that I've enjoyed watching while at home. Um, so, so this is between Netflix and Amazon Prime. Um, I watched um, a series called Dark Tourist, which was amazing. Um, it's basically around... Um, this Austra I think he's Australian, isn't he? Yeah. This Australian um, journalist who travels around the world um, and goes on these weird tours. Um, they're not like the normal tours that you would get, uh, like in a, in, a, in a leaflet or something. Um, they are something. They're dark, so in the sense that they're quiet. They're quite unusual. Um, another one that I really liked is on, I think it's on Amazon Prime, it's called Dead to Me. Um, it's with Christina Applegate and, oh my god, I don't remember the name of the second actress. It is so gripping. You have to watch it. Um, it's just come out with a new season. I think they have a few more episodes which I still need to watch, which probably will be either today or tomorrow or over the weekend. Um, and I don't want to give the story away, but it's just, it, it's a really, it, like, it involves murder and mystery and just relationships. It's just, it's just a whole mixed plate of so many different emotions and it's really, really good. You should absolutely watch this. Um, what else and well, I've started actually watching Desperate Housewives again and I don't know why I've, I've watched the whole thing before um, but I just thought watching it again would be nice and I just watched it again it's it, it was literally like a binge watch um, and I, ha it, I had it in the background while like, like doing my makeup or like working or I don't know just having dinner um, I know, it, I know it's slightly like quite heavy to watch all the time, but I just, I don't know why, I just really enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I think those, those are things that I've been watching these days. Um, I really, really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give this a big thumbs up, guys, because it really helps me out. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.